It's the Daily Dog. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to the Daily Dog. I am thankful that you are hanging out with us today because you knew it had to happen at some point. At some point on some given day, there was going to come a time when we here at the Daily Dog finally included music by the Grateful Dead on the channel. And today is that day. You may have noticed that I am already prepared to listen to the Grateful Dead today. And the song that we're going to listen to is called Terrapin Station. There has been many, many people over several months that have been suggesting this tune specifically to me, especially a guy named Steve via email. So Steve, thank you for your recommendation. Today's your day. <laughs> uh, I have not really uh, paid attention much to Grateful Dead, the Grateful Dead over the years. I of course know of them. I know of their work. Uh, and I don't have uh, an uh, an opinion either way of them. So this is going to be a great initiation for me uh, to really pay attention and give a critical listen to one of their classic tunes. The tune is Terrapin Station. It is from their ninth studio album by the, sta the same name, and it was released in 1977. The lyrics for this tune are by Robert Hunter. The music is by Jerry Garcia, who uh, plays guitar in the band and also sings. Uh, joining him are Donna Jean Godshow on vocals, Keith Godshow on keyboards and vocals, Mickey Hart on the drums and the vibraphone, Bill Kreutzman also on drums, Phil Lesh on bass, and Bob Weir on guitar and vocals. I think they also have a choir and some orchestra members with them as well, so this is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, as I look into this piece, it takes up the entire second side of the original album. It is a 16-minute track that has, uh, da, 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 looks like seven short uh, connected little sections. So um, I, I'm looking forward to it, y'all. I really am an open book when it comes to The Grateful Dead, and um, I'm, I'm excited to dive into it. But first, uh, I was thinking, so we have to uh, remind ourselves just what a terrapin is is and people from maryland maryland usa you don't get to answer because i know that y'all know what a terrapin is <laughs> but a terrapin is a small turtle a freshwater species of turtle and of course a station is a meeting place or a depot right so i i gotta figure out especially from the uh the artwork here the album artwork why the turtles are meeting at the depot and, uh, and it looks like they're having a good old party, so we better join them, y'all. <laughs> We're listening to the original studio recording today, uh, as instructed. And uh, it's, a, like I said, a 16-minute track. So let's dive in and see what is going on with the Grateful Dead and their song, Terrapin Station. Here we go. Nice open voicing to that. Nice and inviting. Let my inspiration flow in the token run, suggesting that will not forsake. Let my inspiration flow in token lines, suggesting rhythm that will not forsake me till my tale is told and gone. So this is a storyteller. Let's hear the story. While the fireflies that glow, strange shadows and the flames will grow till things we've never seen will seem familiar. So we've got a sailor. He loved a lady down in Carlisle. Is that, is that a reference to Scotland? I think. Now he's joined by a soldier who is lonely. <laughs> well, that's such an inviting little opening arpeggio. The door within the fire creaks. So we got some allegory coming on here. Because we can't have a door within a fire, right? Or a girl that just appears out of a fire. 
lion's den. That's the four chord. They keep doing that over the four chord. That's fine. They're off doing other things. I think we're in C, y'all. Boy, what a lovely and non-aggressive sort of inviting instrumental sound to the way that this is put together. It really makes you feel welcome, right? Especially with the, the timbre of his voice. Nothing hard-edged about it. Nothing um, intense or aggressive about it. Just come join the, the party, y'all. So we get to decide if he was wise. It's the job of the storyteller. Huh. Just to inform and narrate and not to intentionally, um, like, try to change our uh, hearts and minds or intentionally move our hearts and minds just to recount the story. Huh. Still hanging over that, that F chord, that four chord. That F went up to F sharp, went up to G, but that's now a minor thing chord. Where did they go? That's cool. First time we've heard harmony, vocal harmony. So five and six, E major chord. Since the end is never told, we pay the teller off in gold in hopes he will come back, but he cannot be bought or sold, is what they just said. I think it's the end of that section. And now this is uh, the next section. And that was 5 of 6, and we modulated to 6, we modulated to A. It's interesting that the Terrapin Station section started again with inspiration, a call, it like an invocation for inspiration, and asking for inspiration from something, right? see it. Crickets, cicadas, crescent moon, rare and dead. Ooh, brass. In the shadow of the moon, y'all. Listen to the low brass. Still the four. Can't get over the low trombones. 
those bass trombones. The, I don't. I think there's tubas there as well, but those bass trombones are what gives you those zings way in those lower registers. The tubas are the big round sound. They're still in A, but they moved to A minor. They changed to A minor, predominantly. I think we're on the journey to Terrapin Station. I'm getting the feeling that it's metaphorical. Allegorical. Love those little woodwind breakdowns. Really cool sound. A little mix meter in there. a little madrigal that kind of surrounds and like kind of weaves in and out of this kind of moving forward. It's like it reminds us to have fun while we're on the journey. Here's the gong. descending line, parallel force, and we land on that low D. This is the, the um, called at the si at a siding. While you were gone, these spaces filled with darkness. That explains the, the half step that they kept going up and down to. consistent um, symbol ride. It's a really neat sound. While you were gone, these spaces filled with darkness. The obvious was hidden with nothing to believe in. The compass always points to Terrapin. Trying to figure out what that means.
This is just radness, isn't it? It's a very cohesive um, integration of the band as orchestral members. The drums just become part of the, listen to that, the drums become part of the uh, percussion section. The guitar just becomes a solo string instrument. section. Four, five, six, one, four, five, six, probably six, more than three. Up a step. So I think we're just going down the road, y'all. We've been to the station, we've been to a siding, and now we're just kind of Riding the train. Cool. Those are full steps. I guess you would need two drummers to uh, to get something complex like that to really work. This is kind of like we had earlier. Let's kind of return to that sound. But now we get the choir. Eric. Big four chord. All right. I love it. I love it. This is really interesting. Put this in the category of exceeds expectations. What expectations there were. Again, I don't know how this compares to a lot of their other stuff because I haven't really listened to a lot of it. But uh, I dig this, this is cool. I wonder if the magical is a specific quote or if that's just something that they came up with in the course of writing the rest of it. Close to the end. Is this gonna just kind of churn its way to the end? Because I notice that the volume is starting to turn down a little bit. Is it a really slow fade? Yeah, it looks like it. Now that I think about it, the main melody reminds me more and more of a full, mature, madrigal-like setting. It is meant to entertain, uh, tell a story, and uh, yeah, that's it. And, uh, you know, these madrigals, they weren't, you know, like high music. You know, they weren't designed for, like, the posh concert halls. They were for the people to to uh, share ideas, to share stories, and to revel in the human condition and revel in life. And this sort of tune reminds me of that tradition, especially with those little uh, uh, lines in there that remind me of like an old magical style uh, writing. So, gosh, uh, should I take a shot at what it means or what it all means for us? Um, you know, Terrapin, it could just be um, hmm. Well, it has Terra 
in it. T uh, R A. Well, that could be t Terra, like Earth, uh, like um, the uh, um, the Latin, right? Terra for Earth. Uh, but I think I read that uh, the word for terrapin comes from a Native American word um, that um, uh, it's based on. So. Uh, and, and, I, and I did read in some of my read-in that there's some Native American mythology that, uh, s that shows or speaks to a turtle like carrying the world on its back. And uh, I think that may be part of, of what they're uh, asking us to do or what, or what they're getting at here. If Terrapin Station then is... Uh, not an actual place, but a place in our imagination, um, a place that uh, is a safe space for us to share ideas or explore or seek, you know, better potential, right? Then we are going to be, you know, charged to be like the turtles that carry the, carry the world on, on our back. We should, you know, lift up those that, um, that are coming after us, right? We should be a source of comfort, of support, right? For, uh, for folks, uh, enthusiasm and uh, in, in our mission to just be uh, the best versions of ourselves. Uh, they're talking about like an abstract version of inner peace, almost like an abstract, like, like a metaphorical Shangri-La, you know, it's this, um, this, um, enlightenment, this level of enlightenment that allows us, um, positivity as we, as we go forth. It's not, but the thing that I think about is that it's not, uh, the destination that they're talking about is not the destination and in, in a stopping point. It's the destination to then start on the path. Right. Uh, it's the starting on that path to, I think, enlightenment and empowerment. Uh, the other thing about the turtle is uh, remember the tortoise and the hare. Slow and steady wins the race, y'all. So don't sweat the small stuff. Just just keep your eye on the cosmic uh, perspective and uh, and keep your uh, your your heart as true as you can and keep looking for that uh, that terrapin station. I like this tune. It's a really neat. Uh, Need experience. Plus, this didn't hurt a little bit, y'all. So thanks for going on the journey with me. This has been fun today. And I think we'll try to get to some more Grateful Dead tunes. Let me know which one I should listen to next in the comments. I would be interested in hearing from you all. Thanks for being with me today. And we will see you next time on another edition of The Daily Doug.